guys, what's up? Welcome to ET Scooby Tutorials, and this is another episode of Unity Quick Tips. Today's quick tip is going to be the difference between a transform and a game object. So, basically, transforms control your position, rotation, and scale, and game objects are the object itself and contain everything about that particular object. So, an object, an object can be a player, it can be... Uh, an enemy, it can be a gun, it can be a chair, it can be a table, you know, just whatever object that you can throw in there. Um, objects are uh, what have all of the different components that make up that particular game object. Um, so, uh, components can be things like uh, mesh render, mesh filter, uh, materials, uh, audio sources, uh, scripts, um, and transforms are kind of like a component of game object, but they're not really like a regular component because you can't have a game object without a transform, even if you're not even uh, reference referencing that transform and there's no point in having that transform on that game object, uh, it's still going to have a transform. Uh, so the, uh, like I said, the transform controls the position, rotation, scale, and it also controls the parent and children. Um, so the parent and children, uh, when you make a game object a child of another game object, the parent can rotate and move, and the child will rotate and move with that game object. So using parents and children, uh, sometimes you can create, I don't really know what you would call them, I guess things uh, that can be an accumulation of a bunch of different game objects. So take, for example, like an enemy. You might want to have the enemy, and then a child of that is the enemy's uh, bone structure so that the enemy can move around, and then a child of that might be uh, the gun that the enemy is carrying, and then all of the colliders attached to the enemy to make sure you can shoot the different spots of that enemy. So all of a sudden you start building up a, like a big hierarchy of game objects that turns into one thing, and in the example that I use, that thing is an enemy. Uh, so um, let's see, what else is there to talk about? Okay, uh, so you can access a transform in a script by either just writing transform or game object dot transform. Um, and then you can also access any uh, component that is attached uh, to your game object. So let's say you want to access the audio source and you want to play an audio clip through that audio source that is attached to that game object. You would write game object dot get component and then inside of parentheses you would write audio source. Actually is actually I don't even know if that is how you would use that. Let's uh um what's a better let's let's say you're trying to access a script out of that game object. So you have a game object um and you want to access a script from it. So you wouldn't actually write game object um all right, let's say we're trying to access the player script. We would write uh, game object dot find with, whoops, whoops, find with tag player. And this is assuming that you put the tag player on your player. Um, so when we write game object dot find with tag, it's going to return us the first game object that Unity finds that has the tag of player. Uh, and then from that, we can get the components, let's say, player script and then from that we can access something let's say health and then that way from another game object we can affect the health of a player uh, through that game object um, so yeah hopefully that clears up all the differences between a game object and a transform so until my next episode I'll see you guys later thank you making games